Tonight, the investigation continues into what caused a tractor trailer to collide with a bus carrying students. That crash left 10 people dead and dozens more injured. As Stephanie Stanton has the latest now from California. I think this is going to be a FedEx truck versus a tour bus. Smoke from the fiery wreckage gave a hint of the tragic scene unfolding on a Northern California highway. And all of a sudden kind of slamming together and I just kind of see black, but there's fire at the front of the bus. A tour bus carrying more than 40 high school students from Southern California on their way to a college visit hit head on by a FedEx truck Thursday afternoon. When the impact hit, I like flew um, from my seat. It's just a ball of fire. And then, ball of fire, everybody's screaming. Panicked students broke windows in the bus to escape the flames. There was an emergency exit, but there was too many people in the bus that were trying to get out. Both the drivers of the bus and FedEx truck were killed, along with five students and three adult chaperones. More than 30 others were injured. Upon our arrival, it was already fully engulfed in flames. Mass casualty triage area was established on the southbound side of the freeway. Back home, parents were forced to watch and pray. To see it on the news because I couldn't watch, I just broke down to think that he's alive and that he was on the front of that bus. While at the crash site, survivors struggled to make sense of the crash. It's just a matter of seconds where you could either die or live and that's a life experience and I don't wish it to anyone. I really don't. A wish from those who survived and those two who now investigate why it even happened. Stephanie Stanton, NBC News, Chico, California. Well, federal regulators recommend new safety standards for large buses. They did that in 1999, but those rules have not been implemented. The recommendations called for new standards for large buses so that after an accident, passengers can easily open windows and emergency exits. A crash in Texas led to new rules for school bus safety. In 2006, a bus carrying a Beaumont High School soccer team rolled over, killing two girls. That led to a new law to put seat belts on all school buses.